Welcome back. The first scene of Fool Me Once begins with a flashback to 1996, where some high school kids are performing a ceremony of some sort. Around a campfire, the others dance and chant, while one boy sits bound to the chair. We now meet Maya Stern, who is attending her husband's burial. Maya talks about how she met her husband, Joe Burkett, at a charity dinner a few years ago as the priest conducts the service. They hit it off right away, and a few months later they were walking down the aisle to begin a new chapter in their lives. Following the funeral, Maya finds out that the investigator overseeing her husband's case was invited to the burial by her mother-in-law, Judith Burkett. Maya is irritated by Detective Kearse's presence, most likely because the police haven't made any progress in locating Joe's killer. When Maya approaches Judith, the mother-in-law is certain that she wants the investigator to comprehend Joe's significance and identity. She hints, just delicately, that Maya may be experiencing more than just grief. At this point, we find out that Claire, Maya's sister, passed away a few months prior. Judith contends that Maya has to talk to someone about losing her sister, seeing her husband killed, and having problems at work in the army. Afterwards, Maya brings her friend Eva back to her home. Eva gives Maya a digital photo frame with a hidden nanny camera inside. She advises Maya to discreetly watch her daughter Lily while she's gone by using the nanny cam. Even though Maya thinks she won't need it because Isabella, her babysitter, is wonderful, Eva places the frame in Lily's playroom. As Maya is preparing Lily's breakfast the next morning, she receives a call from Judith inviting them to spend the weekend at her house. Maya turns down the offer. When she later watches the nanny cam, she is horrified to witness her deceased spouse giving their child a hug. She runs to Lily to ask the small girl, but the adorable child is not willing to assist her. When Maya gets to her bedroom, she discovers that the outfit Joe was wearing in the video is gone. Isabella shows in at the same moment, and Maya shows her the video right away. Isabella says Maya has gone insane and disputes seeing Joe in the video. Maya tries to push her in the direction of the computer by grabbing her arm. Startled by the disturbance, Lily shouts out to her mother. Maya becomes more at ease as a result, and Isabella requests some water. As Maya turns to pick up a glass, Isabella surprises her by taking advantage of the situation and pepper spraying her face. By the time Maya gets well, Isabella has already left. Detective Kearse visits later and expresses concern about Maya's health. She shows him the nanny cam footage and is startled to learn that Isabel stole the SD card. Detective Kearse believes that Maya's hallucinations are more likely the result of her sadness. He grills her on the events of the attack. Maya describes how two men on motorcycles cornered her and her husband in a park. A couple resisted the men's effort to rob them. Before she knew it, Joe had been hit by three bullets in the chest. One thing led to another. Since Joe was shot with a Glock, Detective Kearse then inquires about Maya's firearms and takes her Glock for testing. Kearse tells Maya to relax before they go. Detective Kearse crashes into a fence after losing control of his vehicle while returning to the office. It appears that he fainted. He implies that this is not the first time he has passed out by texting someone and saying that it happened again. Telling his boss that he was trying to avoid hitting a cat when he had an accident is a lie. His employer questions whether he's been drinking again and is skeptical of his reply. Insisting on being sober, Detective Kearse requests a new vehicle. Maya calls Judith in the meantime to inquire about Joe's body. Maya is curious about Joe's final appearance since she was not around when he passed away. Judith answers, even though she thinks this inquiry is strange. She tells Maya that since she looks to be losing it, she should get treatment. But Maya isn't giving up and keeps trying to get through to Isabella. Maya drives to her sister's house to visit her nephew and niece when the babysitter declines to answer her calls. She is unsurprised to learn that Eddie, Claire's spouse, is still in mourning and depends excessively on drink to get through the day. She makes an effort to speak with him, but he is unreceptive to advice, particularly over what to do with Claire's belongings. His late wife's belongings are still strewn about the house, stacked in boxes. When Maya visits Judith following her altercation with Eddie, she is taken aback to see Detective Kearse present. The investigator says he is there to give Judith an update on the situation. Maya mentions Isabella stealing the SD card and the nanny cam. Detective Kearse agrees to go along when Maya confronts Isabella after she remarks that the nanny has been neglecting her oddly. Maya, nevertheless, declines and travels by herself. Sadly, Isabella won't let Maya inside. Detective Kearse meets his expectant fiancé at their dancing lessons in another scene. They still haven't learned their dance, and their wedding is in four weeks. After dinner, Kearse complains about his new, younger partner, who irritates him. Maya attends her niece's football practice after failing to get a word in with Isabella, and she can't help but see Joe everywhere she looks. Because the coach is unpleasant, she gets into a fight with him and pulls down his pants, exposing him to the public. Eddie requests that she keep her distance from the children as a result of her behavior. Maya tries to reason with him, but it is in vain, as he has already made up his mind. He accuses her of being responsible for the deaths around her. The weekend soon arrives, and Meyer invites several friends over. Shane becomes her confidante when she tells him she believes she is being followed. She tells him to investigate the car she thinks is following her.
Maya receives a call from Judith while they are speaking about Isabel dropping by to announce her resignation. Judith is asked by Maya to hold Isabella there until she gets there. Maya is compelled to follow the nanny as she attempts to flee the family estate, but Judith regrettably declines to comply. Following a brief and frenzied chase, Maya manages to corner Isabella, but Isabella escapes into the woods as the nanny's boyfriend diverts Maya's attention. Maya gets upset with Judith for putting her trust in the nanny instead of her. She wants an explanation after bringing out the nanny cam footage. Judith maintains that Joe is deceased and says Maya is having hallucinations. She asks whether Maya is stable enough to raise Lily and asserts that Maya needs to handle everything on her plate. Maya cautions her about going overboard. While Judith implies that Maya never loved Joe, their argument goes on. To which Maya replies that she did, Judith never came to terms with the fact that she was suitable for her son. When Maya returns home by car, Marty and Detective Kearse are waiting for her. After receiving the ballistics data, they discovered that Joe and Claire were both killed by the same firearm. But Maya wasn't home from her military deployment when Claire passed away. For more, subscribe.